You want to double your money? You want to find out which investment is perfect for you? Stay tuned to this episode of Prime Properties TV. We'll be going over the rule of 72. Stay tuned. I promise it'll be worth it. Good day, Toronto. Welcome to another episode of Prime Properties TV. I'm so glad you could join us. We'll be continuing going over some basic principles of investing. A lot of people I meet get stuck on getting into the nitty gritty of a percentage of what an ROI is or return on investment, which is a little bit different with each investment. And you'd be surprised by the amount of questions I'm asked when someone asks me what my return on investment in real estate is and how focused they are. You know what? Like I was like, are you seriously asking me for real? <laughs> I get that we're being bombarded with a lot of marketing that is trying to make use of like even small little nitty gritty percentage increase such as 0.01 increase or decrease and really trying to make them significant in your life. And whether it's promoted as a mortgage rate at 2.20% instead of 2.25%, which honestly does not make much of a difference on a $400,000 mortgage, which is a $500,000 purchase. The difference is $9 a month, seriously, $9 a month. So I hope that helps everyone kind of watching fo not to focus on the nitty gritty. Anyways, rant over, but really don't focus on the things that are not significant as they are just perceived by the public. Make sure you really understand what those percentages mean. Now, a good example of that is focusing on the percentage a lot on strictly ROI. A lot of people say, I'm investing this, I'm investing that. What's your ROI on that? What's your ROI on that? What does ROI really mean to you? You have to ask yourself that question that. Yes, it's a percentage of the money you profit divided by the money you invested. Mathematically, that's just a percentage of your money you're getting back from your initial amount. But how does that apply to someone in the real world life? And in investing, I like to use a very, very simple and straightforward ballpark formula I call the rule of 72. If you've researched investing or read up on it, if you've ever heard of it, it's basically a rule that says, you know what, how many years does it take for me to double my money? Right? So it's very simple. So what you want to do is you take your RI with the percentages and then you take 72 and you divide it by that number. Let's give you guys some example. Okay? Let's say your ROI or return on investment is 6%. Then you do 72 divided by 6, which is 12. So it takes 12 years for you to double your money. At 3%, instead, you do 72 divided by 3, which is 24 years to double your money. I hope that kind of makes sense to people. I mean, there's a significant difference between 12 years and 24 years of your life. It could be in a completely different phase. Now, let's look at some other real life examples. In previous videos, we went through mutual funds. Uh, your after inflation and after your MER management expense ratio, your, mm, your return was about 3.54%. We'll say 3.5. So now you do 72 divided by 3.5. Now, what does that get you? 20. 0.5. That means it takes you 20.5 years to double your money with your standard mutual funds. Now, depending on where you are in life and what you're trying to accomplish, that could be a great thing, that could be a bad thing. Again, that just depends on you. Now, if you take the simple cash flow conduct example, which I'll describe with both videos up here in the eye or the details below, it was the ROI was about 29, we'll round it up to 30%. That means 72 divided by 30. That means 2.4 years. Your money doubles in 2.4 years. Again, depending on you, that could be good or bad. Some people have different you know, perceived values of what they want return on. But isn't it more simple when you see in years how long it takes for you to double your money than a mere percentage? How impactful is really an arbitrary percentage that you are being sold? The question lies, do you want to double your money in 20 years or in two and a bit years? And if your answer is the latter, make sure you give me a call and we can discuss what your options are. Thank you guys for watching. If you learned something or simply enjoyed watching this video, make sure to subscribe to Prime Property CEO here and make sure to click on that little bell on YouTube so to be notified when I put up new clients or sorry, new content. If you have any questions or you want a free consultation, call me. Number is right here. And remember, make sure you share this with family and friends because like I always say, an educated consumer is the best consumer. I'll see you next time, Toronto. Meow.